In this demonstration, I'm going to show streaming seismic data from OSDU using Blue Air Fast. This collaboration was sponsored by AWS, developed by Paravida Solutions in partnership with Blue Air. Seismic trace data is stored in the seismic DMS. The Paravida integration talks to the DMS and FAST, a service which exists on the geoscience workstation. This creates a mapping between the data in BDS and a virtual file which is presented to the application in the format needed for interpretation. When the application reads from the virtual file, data is streamed directly into the application via BlueWare Fast. This eliminates disk storage on the local workstation. So let's see how this works in practice. I'm using an EC2 workstation in AWS. This is a typical geoscience workstation. Now note, I haven't created any additional disk because I'll be using streaming versus storing seismic data. When I start the fast service on this workstation, we'll see the mapping to an additional disk. This is where the fast data will be presented to the applications. The Paravida integration works in a browser. It talks to OSDU to get a list of surveys that are available to me. What I'm now going to do is configure a mapping between the OSDU data and a virtual file. And I'm going to create this as a Petrel ZGY file. Note I have the option to create a subvolume, but in this case, I'll create a full volume. And let's see what's happened here. If I go to the fast drive, you'll see the creation of this file here. It's a ZGY and it represents 230 gigabytes in ZGY data. Now I haven't copied or read anything at this point. I've just created a virtual implementation of that file. And we'll show that file in, in Petrel later on. I'm going to add an additional mapping for PaleoScan. PaleoScan requires us to place that in the project directory. And I'll create one more, which will be a subvolume. Now, let's look at the impact here. One thing you'll notice are these additional volumes that have been created for PaleoScan. These are duplicate volumes, but they're indexed in the direction required by the application. The subvolume here represents a smaller volume, and then the, the ZGY um, is here as well. So if I look at the total size of all of this data, I've mapped 834 gigabytes of data without needing that data on disk. Opening up that data inside a paleo scan is simply a case of double clicking the survey and using the data in exactly the same way that I would if I were reading directly from a file. Scrolling through the data is efficient and fast. And now showing this in Petrel, I can simply import a ZGY file. This is a virtual ZGY. This data doesn't exist on this workstation, it acts as a streaming interface. And simply open the survey inside of Petrel, accept the normal defaults, and just turn on the inlines and the cross lines. And it's very easy to traverse through this data in exactly the same way I would normally do so in Petrel. So the benefits of streaming seismic data from the cloud versus copying it enables you to centralize all of your seismic data inside of OSDU. It eliminates the cost of all of those duplicates for multi-format versions and bringing the data down to workstations and expensive disks. 
by using transcoding technology, we can represent virtually any format, whether it's SegWire or SCP or other formats can be added. The workflow and the technology is fully backward compatible. The application itself doesn't need to change. And the end user experience is also the same because they're just opening files. And because you're only reading just the data you need, we also see a performance boost versus using the local solid state drive. I'd like to thank our collaboration partners, AWS and Paravida, for this solution.